All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to part five in this Minecraft server development series. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter than usual, but I'm just going to be going over mainly uh, some issues that were brought up in the comments, as well as some suggestions. And these things are some of them are going to be optional, some aren't really as optional. So we'll just go through this, and then in the next video, I plan on going through uh, everything to do with Towny. So the first thing we're going to be doing is installing this Multiverse Inventories plugin. And this will basically allow you to set which uh, worlds share what inventories. So you can be in like the spawn world and have like one stone and then you'll teleport to the town's world and you will not have that stone anymore. This is very helpful for people who want to set up uh, spawn worlds where people can't have any inventories. But otherwise there's not that much practicality to it. Um, but some people would like to know so I'm gonna be going ahead and showing you how to install that and everything so we are running now alright so now what we're gonna be doing is setting up our groups so we will type slash MV in which is short for inventory and we will type group and as you can see we can create edit or delete so first we're gonna start off by deleting the default uh, group just like we did there and now we are going to type that again and we will create a new one and this one will be titled spawn and we will just say world since that is our main world and after that we can hit at and we will type in inventory and then we will hit at again so now that's set up the next thing we're going to want to do is type slash mv in group again and then we are going to want to create one for our towns world and the nether and end worlds so now that we've typed create we're going to enter town uh, and we will add the towns world as well as the world underscore nether and the world underscore the underscore end. After that, we'll hit at and we'll type inventory. After that, we will hit add again. And now that is completed. All right, so now that that's set up, if we go and fly over to our portal, as you can see, I have stone on me right now. So when we go through over to the town's world, we have nothing. But if we go back to the spawn, we have our stone again. All right, so now that we have that all set up, we're gonna head over to the town's world. So town's world. And what we need to now do, which I forgot to do in the previous video, is set up the regions uh, for the global world. So anything outside of our 100 meter or block uh, area is going to be different than what's within that area. So as we did before, we're just going to type slash region flag underscore underscore global underscore underscore and then G and we're just going to see all the options. Now, I suggest going through all of these just like we previously have, uh, but for the global instead of the region within and the region within should automatically be uh, considered higher on the list than the global world as any region you define should be. So basically after this, Anybody should be able to build or whatever outside of this area or not build Maybe you just want them to be able to build in towns and that's perfectly fine and you can set that up too uh, I'm just gonna allow anybody to build out there I'm gonna allow PvP to be on and everything like that so you can go ahead and do that now and uh, I'll see you in a moment all right so I've set up a few flags for the wilderness area and now what we're gonna do is type slash region flag and then our town 100 block radius area um, which is T spawn and then we're just gonna hit G and as you can see there is a greeting and farewell option so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type uh, greeting and that's gonna be you are in a safe area And then we're also going to be setting a farewell so we'll just backspace and type farewell and then we're going to say you are entering 
a dangerous area. All right, so now if we go to test that out, once I get over there, it's already told me I'm in a safe area once I started to move. Now it says you are entering a dangerous area. You're in a safe area. And yeah, so that works. So it will basically just allow players to know whether or not they're in the safe or dangerous area. So another issue that people were having was that when they joined their server, they were in Vanished. Now if you are an OP or an owner and you followed my previous tutorials, then this makes complete sense. And the way you can fix that is actually by going into the essentialsconfig.yml and then scrolling down to about, I believe it's around 390, line 390. There it is, 398, allow silent join quit. So if you want to be able to join without being put as vanished, then you're gonna wanna set that to false and just save it and that will work perfectly fine. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Sorry it was a bit short, but these were definitely things that needed to be addressed. And if you're new to the series, I suggest checking out the previous videos so you can get a, a grips on some of the things that I have gone over today. And in the next video I'm going to be uploading, we're going to be going over Townie as I said before. Also if you like the video guys, please give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And leave any comments if you have questions. So until next time guys, see ya.